as women, we all learn this early in our lives. Things like, don't get too excited about your grades because your siblings might get hurt. Or don't shine too bright because it makes your friends insecure. These are some of the things that I still battle with because the programming is so strong. For me, getting past these has meant shedding years of social conditioning that have been installed in me as a young woman, as a young child. Hello and welcome to the Brave Marketing Podcast with your host Swapna Thomas. This is the podcast for the renegades, the trailblazing leaders and the change makers who don't just have a business, it's your calling. Those of you who want to make a difference and make money but all on your own terms. I'm on a mission to show as many life coaches as possible how you can have more income, more impact and infinitely more fun by being unapologetically and bravely you and breaking all the rules. I have created 5 figure months with no paid ads, a tiny list and zero complicated sales funnels. Simplifying marketing and teaching you how to use it for good in the world is my zone of genius. With this podcast, I'm here to share weekly episodes on the soul and the strategy of marketing, mindset, money and everything online business. Let's dive into today's episode. Hello and welcome to episode 14 of the Brave Marketing Podcast. And today we are talking about humble marketing. So what even is humble marketing? Here is how I define it. Humble marketing is when you are marketing, you're doing all the things, but in a timid way, in a sort of a wallflower way, you're not really taking up space. You're not shining in the spotlight. You don't fully own your genius and you easily attribute your success to other people or luck or circumstances. You find it really hard to celebrate your wins and sometimes you even hide them. You're not sharing your real thoughts on your niche or what you know that is keeping your clients away from their desires. And you turn all shades of red and deflect Every single time someone gives you a compliment. Nine out of ten times, this is what I know my clients are doing if they have been stuck at the same level for a while. Humble marketing shows up as wanting people to buy your offers, your products, your services without ever really knowing you. Or talking a whole lot about the features of your offer but not really about who you are. Or definitely talking about why your service is good or why your offer is good, but not talking about how and why who you are takes it several notches higher and makes it what it really is, that you are the secret ingredient. I know that you're not one of those sleazy, spammy people who will pull a desperate stunt to get people into their programs. And I know you genuinely want to help people Uh, serve them with all of your heart and change their lives without ever exploiting them emotionally or financially. And I also know that you are the expert, you are the leader and you know your stuff but getting into people's faces or going on and on about how amazing you are is just not your thing. But here is the thing that I need you to know. You cannot let these become an excuse for you to indulge in humble marketing. Yes, indulging in humble marketing because it makes you feel morally superior from all of those people who are, you know, being really loud about how cool they are. And I know it feels like the moral thing to do, to be humble about your offers, the results your clients get, the transformations you create, or how good of a coach you really are. Because as women, we all learn this early in our lives. Things like, don't get too excited about your grades because your siblings might get hurt. Or don't shout from the rooftops about this incredible opportunity you just landed because your family will think that you're too big for your boots now. Or don't shine too bright because it makes your friends insecure. These are some of the things that I still battle with because the programming is so strong. For me, getting past These has meant 
shedding years of social conditioning that have been installed in me as a young woman, as a young child. You are taught that playing small is being humble. You are taught that seeking validation and permission is being safe. You are taught that being mellow and timid is being nice. You are taught that not standing out and attracting too much attention is being respectful. And you are taught that taking pride in yourself is vain and it is sinful. So as a result of all of this conditioning and programming, you spend your life dialing down your genius, dimming your light and desperately trying to fit in and belong. And you know what? It hurts. It hurts when you are not celebrated for who you are, when you don't feel safe to unlock all of your potential and when you feel like you don't have anyone on your team cheering you on. And when you cannot own your brilliance and proudly say, I am effing epic at what I do and that I am exactly who you need. When you're not able to say that, that really hurts. But here is what I need you to know. When you have no one on your team, you have to get on your own team. You need to become extra AF and celebrate yourself. You need to make a big deal out of everything that you do because it is a big deal. Not everyone can do it. And I'm not talking about making things up because you are the real deal. If anything, you are actually hiding things. You're not telling people about all the amazing things that you have done in your life and are still doing. You know that your offers can change lives in a single session. You know that your energy is activating and expansive and it helps your clients do what they never thought was possible. You know that you are the hot shot coach everyone needs to work with. Now, you got to tell people that every day and in every way, even if it annoys the heck out of people, even if it makes someone think that you're becoming too big for your boots, even if it is uncomfortable for you to do that. Because if you cannot hype yourself up, if you cannot honestly, confidently, and may I add, loudly tell people how great you are at what you do and how amazing your skills are, how will they know? Why would they trust your ability to help them? Your offer can have the best of everything, but eventually people buy from people. So let them know you, the real you. So if this is you and you have been humble marketing, I want you to pause this right now or listen to the whole episode and then go and write a post about your latest offer or anything you want to sell and tell people why the best thing about this offer is you. The way you teach, the way you coach, you mentor, hold space or create solutions is different because of who you are and you are exactly who your clients need. And when you write that post, Don't forget to share it with me on Instagram so that I can give you a shout out in my stories. If you are done with humble marketing and you're so ready to step up as the leader that I know you are, then I have something really exciting for you. Next week, I'm running a powerful 90-minute workshop called Market Like a Leader, where I will take you through the framework of exactly how to sell your offers out without burning yourself up. I have previously ran this as a challenge and over 200 people have gone through it and now I have up-leveled it into a highly implementable and practical workshop and oh, the best part is that it's free. In this powerful workshop, you will learn the three success traps that are sucking the life out of your business and keeping you stuck at the same level, the five unconscious thoughts sabotaging your marketing and sales right now, the five brave shifts to step into your fully expressed and successful leader identity, the hustle-proof marketing plan to sell out your offers. Plus, I will be doing a few hot seat coaching sessions, which is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to see you in the workshop. All the details are in the show notes, so I will see you there. And that's all for the episode this week. I will meet you next week. Stay brave until then. That- 
that's the episode for today. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. I am thrilled to have you as part of the Brave Marketing community. Because this podcast is still brand new, it would mean so much to me if you could leave a five-star review as that will make it easy for other brave hearts to find this podcast and grow our community of rule breakers. Until next time, have a brave week ahead.